so today you're talking to your boy strings emb uh born and raised in st louis missouri uh really just a young dog a young boy from the north side and uh i'm just here just to trying to make a way Yeah, Memphis just feels like home. Memphis is home. During this particular trip is, uh, yeah, probably the most exciting and, and easily the biggest crowd that I've performed in front of and the biggest show that I've had so far. Um, I was blessed with the opportunity to perform the pregame and halftime show at the Memphis Grizzlies uh, Philadelphia 76ers basketball game on December the 2nd, 2022. Um, Shout out to my connect, shout out to you type team, shout out to Mr. Gary Goen. Uh, you all are amazing and I can't wait till the, the next opportunity for it to collab again. This is dope, I gotta let y'all see how excited I am. This hella dope. Memphis Grizzlies, fast forward, baby. Oh yeah, I'm the people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is awesome. I appreciate y'all, this is a beautiful opportunity. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. And so, uh, you know who turned this on was, uh, Tight T. Uh huh. Yes, sir. Yes, he turns us on. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. That's my G. Yeah. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah. Great, great brother. Great brother. Uh, I didn't get a chance to make it down to Memphis from St. Louis to do any kind of rehearsal, so that was the very first time that the band was able to hear me. I always like to surprise the, um, the band or whoever I'm performing with, with my sound, because every, not everybody, but a lot of people can sound good uh, on studio tracks and on uh, produced tracks, but not many people can actually deliver that same energy um, during live. But myself, I think that my energy live is much larger than my energy on track. So for them to tell me that they liked how the track sound, I was just excited to go ahead and do it live. So I'm leaving, please believe it. Me and the rest of my heathens. I'm fucked all day hitting the bottom. I'm down to a hundred top down. I got to get off the freeway. It's a 106 in pocket. And I trade this game tired as pocket. I was able to perform uh, to perform my music, which is always a pleasure. Uh, and then uh, they had popped a question on me about possibly performing a cover. Who, who's better in St. Louis than Nelly? Nobody. So I instantly just started thinking about songs that I know because knowing the song in the shower and in the bathroom are completely different from knowing the song enough to do a cover live. And so, yeah, I was thinking about hiding here in uh, country grammar. I was like, country grammar, I know for the most part, but it's some parts where I'm, uh, I'm just making noises. And you can't really make noises if you're the only one vocally with the microphone. So I was like, hiding here, I know that. And these people are gonna love that because people fucking love Nelly. <laughs> I should be, oh, I should be, oh, I should be. A blazer trail, I'm a torch, Olympic side will go for the gold, and I'm a beautiful sight. Yeah, he did it his way. It wasn't pretty, oh, no, but it worked. They're looking silly, a million off from a shirt, but I digress. Chilling on the bathroom floor, go ahead by the dress. She can have whatever, and some more. We are so bad. Like Let the pressure get the best of me Cause I want you to see I want a new question I want a new question My intentions All I want to be is free So let me go And watch me fly away I'll just take off slow Promise that would be no delay. Mm -hmm. yeah. The real excitement was the fucking passes that we had and seeing my baby's faces, my son and my daughter, as we hit the the, the, uh, the floor of the game, like literally the hardwood floor, and walking through the tunnels and going into the weekend uh, hangout bar that's obviously exclusive for only players and people who are on like courtside seating. So, man, that that really, really showed me that there's a possibility of anything out there. I've, I've only been performing 
really on stage since 2017, so that's only five years. And to be so deep in and hitting arenas already, and obviously, man, the, the sky's the limit. But long story short, man, being on that floor, being within that tunnel, ah, I'm ready to do it again. How you been, man? This the style for the young people, man. That's what they told me. That's what my daughter told me. So I was like, I said, I gotta be almost naked, then I'm gonna be cool. She said, yeah, daddy, yeah. I was like, all right, I'm gonna roll them up there. They can see all these calf muscles. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna see, but I still yeah. act old. <laughs> I still, I still hit you with the come here. Come on. I met Brandon uh, down in Memphis, uh, of course, because uh, he, I think he worked at Red Bull with my best friend Dante. Uh, so I met him through Dante, and I actually kind of forgot that he worked at uh, uh, at the FedEx Forum. So it was good running into him. BLT, yo. Are you ready to leave the smack? It's kind of hard to have like that balance of trying to, 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 to settle in and enjoy and take in all of this because you only thinking about working. I'm only thinking about the next mission. Like right now, I haven't even performed yet and I'm already thinking about the next giddy up, but that's just how my mind works. And honestly, that's what keeps me hungry. And uh, I mean, yeah, I, I pray the same for y'all. Don't ever get settled, don't ever get comfortable. Definitely take it in. My baby's down there, my daughter, my, my wife down there. And I'm about to get to work so we can hit the next stage and the, the next stadium, the, the next arena. But that's what it's all about, baby. Just continuing that grind, continuing to stay prayed up. And yeah, I'm out.
Y'all was amazing. Y'all did a great job. Thank y'all for, for bringing that energy. Did y'all call them turn people? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Y'all have fun? Yeah. Awesome. You'll come back to the next Yeah. Okay. Having that, that chance to throw off those t shirts uh, was another bright spot of their day or uh, evening. Uh, and, and everything that I do, honestly, really is for them. Even though I have a whole bunch of fun doing my shit, it's really just to create a life for them. Uh, so to see them just smiling that big, being able to do something as simple as just throwing t-shirts, I mean, they become one of the mascots of the Grizzlies. It, it was awesome. So that's Dante, uh, my best friend. Um, actually initially met with him or met him in 2003 in Memphis, Tennessee. Very first person that I connected with. Uh, it's been nothing but genuine love from the very beginning. Right by uh, Travis Best, and they say, and, and, he, and they ran to each other. Yeah, they bumped each other. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Here she go. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's Freddie T. That's my wife's younger brother, Freddie Thompson. Freddie Rudy Thompson, that boy Cole. He actually, uh, what, what did he just do for me uh, artistically? He took the photo, which is the cover art for my most recent EP, uh, Black Summer. But Freddie has been that nigga ever since I met him back in 2003. A genuine ass dude, a fucking bundle of love and energy. And he's been so genuine to me and obviously to my children who are his niece and nephew. They love Uncle Freddie. I love Uncle Freddie. Just a really, really, really good dude. Man, I love you, bro. For real. But, yeah, boy. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Uh, so cool. Members of my family uh, from Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, shout out to Brian and uh, Desiree Craig. Uh, yeah, that, that's my people. Whenever I go to Memphis, uh, they're part of the clique that I that I always give with. Thank you, right, 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 right. man. It's love. I really appreciate this shit. It was good. You got a great video of this. Uh, I just exactly. I see it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Strings. Strings. Thank you. Thank you so much. My pleasure. So as I was telling people back here in St. Louis when they were asking me about how did it go, uh, I, I told them that obviously the the performance felt great. Uh, but the, the, the true love came after the performance where I walked around, I had, I always tell my hat on the, uh, the big Snoopy jacket. So people remember me. Um, but just being able to walk around a huge stadium and so many people stop you. And like you probably saw in that clip, that was a real ass handshake. That boy damn near didn't want to let my hand go <laughs> telling me that he really enjoyed my performance. And he didn't know that I was from St. Louis other than me doing the Nelly song, he had no idea that I was from St. Louis. I didn't tell him, um, but he was from St. Louis and we just had uh, a really, really genuine connection just because of the music and he doesn't look anything like me. I'm a black, young black man, he, he's a white guy. Not that that matters, but it just shows how powerful music is and how, how organic energy is. He really felt my passion from my delivery and I felt his passion from that handshake that he gave me, man. So it, Connecting with souls is 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 beautiful, and that, that that that's one of the things that it's all about.